Alex Kidd in Miracle World is for the Sega Master System. Alright, so these boxes have little money bags that you want to collect because you can use it to uh, buy stuff at the shops and stuff. The question marks have random stuff in them, but they could be bad. So if you hit start, you go to your little inventory and you can select it. The ring gives you like a little fire blast, which is really helpful. So th there is one hit deaths on here. I think the uh, the small bags. How much do we have? We have a hundred. Let's see what these small bags do. Those are worth ten, and I think the big bags are worth twenty. Don't get this question mark because it's got a it's got a little flying. Uh, dude in it that'll just hunt you down and, uh, uh, take, uh, kill you. Don't hit that thing either, because the same little, uh, floaty dude will come out and then just take you out. Now, the controls are a bit kind of fidgety. They're kind of, they're fast, is what it is. And sometimes you have to have like a kind of a run and jump to get to higher places. It does take a little bit to uh, get used to the controls. But it's worth kind of hunting down the money to a certain extent. Oops, come on. Like, even that I didn't even really need to get. So with this part, you can... You, uh... You want to get up here because you can go up here and then drop down. Oh, I missed it. That's alright. So even, like, over here... Like, and you, you, you lose your little special thing over there. Like, even that part. Like, I don't, I don't really go out of my way to get all the things, all the money, because you really don't need it, need it that much. So those things will block you. And those frogs shoot out, like, these bubble things that you gotta watch out for. And you gotta hit them, like, a few times to take them out. Don't hit that question mark either, because that's got one of those floaty dudes in it. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to make it safe for me to go through there, but I'm going to hit it and I'll show you. See that guy, and he'll float up and get you. And they're scattered throughout the whole game. So if you hit start, you can see... Like, in, your inventory, in, in our inventory, we don't have anything, but we have 570 bucks. So if we go in the shop, you can go in and out of the shop. Like, so if we go in, just hit up. You can buy these things. I don't recommend getting the motorcycle. It's hard to control, and if you get hit, you lose it, like, right away. So you don't really need it. So we're going to get another one of these coins. And the question mark is actually temporary invisibility, but it doesn't work against spikes or, like, lava. Stuff like that. It's just if you get hit by a... Thing. So let's just go. And we're not really going to um, do something. This one's kind of all about um, like I could use the ring and blast through all these things, but I don't want really want to waste it. I don't really need it. This level is easy enough to where you don't need it. And you do have chances to buy lives in other shops, but they're like it's like 500 bucks. But I do recommend it because um, you only get a certain amount of lives. It's kind of actually kind of hard to 
get a bunch of lives in this. Um, so whenever you do have a chance to get an extra guy, I highly recommend it. You can continue, but I think it's... You have to do a little code. Kind of like in uh, Super Mario Brothers, how you have to hold, like, the B button or something. You have to hold the up button and then hit, um... Hit the number two button. In my case, it's the attack button. Uh, eight times. You hold up and hit eight times, but it costs you, like, either four or eight hundred bucks to do it. So this is like a paper, rock, scissors thing. And I thought at first that it was all random, but like everything's in a certain order. So if you know what happens, you can easily beat it. But in the first game, like how this is all guessing. This is super hard. But the first one you have to do rock and then scissors. But if you deviate from this at all, the whole thing will change throughout the game. So you have to do it in these orders that I'm going to do it in. Next one, you want to do scissors. I looked up the up the patterns online. I don't know what he's eating. What that is? A little egg or something? I think this is an extra guy in here. So there's a secret right over here, but it's, it's kind of hard to get this. You gotta just... Uh-oh. You gotta be careful. With this dude. One more. There we go. So you have to go down. You have to hit, like, the attack and down. There we go. If you just try to hit down, you won't go through it. So we could just go down here. And then, uh, up here's a special little spot where you can get an extra guy. Like I said, you have to run and jump at some spots, and it can be hard to get up to them. So with this, just go up and around, and then you go like this, 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 just jump up and hit them. Okay, so we can go over here. Here. Think we go, uh, okay. even like little stuff like this like you don't have to really get it see I like nah I'm not gonna deal with it like even those things up there it's not worth it to me to almost die over this uh, I think I need to jump up whoops I think with this one, it's good to go up. 
And I don't really care if I get that money back or not. Like, I just don't want to die. And it's unfortunate that the game's kind of like this, to, where it's hard to jump up and get certain things. See, now I'm just, like, I don't care about those, man. Just get me out of that situation. Because you have plenty of money to, like, do good in the game to pretty much get whatever you want, especially if you don't really waste your money on stuff that you don't need. Welcome, Alex. You are a prince from the country of Radaxian who was kidnapped by evil men when you were but a small boy. Your native land is now being grossly misgoverned by the tyrant Jaken the Great. Jenkin the Great. Your mission is to save the populace from him. So we'll have a little helicopter now in the next level. Which you can shoot projectiles from it, but you just don't want to hit your propeller on anything. If you hit your propeller, uh, you'll lose your thing. So like even getting the money bags, not really that big of a deal to me. See, like under that, I'm not even gonna like risk hitting the propeller. Because if you do that, you have to, like you don't die, but you'll you'll have to go through the swimming part of the level. See, I just skip over that. I don't need the money that bad. And you're still collecting tons of stuff without risking losing this. see what the shop has to offer. Okay, so I'm gonna buy everything. I want that. I want the A. That shoots out little uh, little Alex's and then there's an extra guy. See, we still have almost a thousand bucks left. Okay. Again, don't be foolish with the thing and get, and, uh, you know, take risks that you don't need to. Risk versus reward. I think this is an extra guy. Yep. And then, two, you have to lose the thing to be able to go up there, so... See, if you hit the propeller, you lose. There's a... You just gotta hit him eight times, I think. Right. 
Eight. Yep. Prince Alex of Redaxian, you are looking very well indeed. We hear that your elder brother is imprisoned in the Redaxian castle, and you are the only person who can come to, res to his res rescue. What's that, like a little Monopua that he's eating? Something. I think actually, I actually think that that's a ring in there. But what we want to do is go over here because it's, if it's a flying thing, we can run away. Okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do is use the ring because I'm just going to get another one. If we just collected that, if we already have a ring, you're pretty much wasting it. So that ball down there, that's a thing that is, uh, you can see what the other person is going to choose during the um, paper, rock, scissors, but since we already have all the codes, we don't need to get that ball because it's really dangerous to drop down there. Usually I just die and fall in the lava um, than getting that little thing, and there's a chance to get it later on in the game, which I'm going to show you, but since we already know the outcomes of the thing, I'm not even going to waste And you have to be careful with with the shooty thing. Because you don't want to hit something that... That's going to be bad news. Like, I think that thing, it's almost certainly that floaty guy. I think both of them are the floaty guys. Just to be sure, I'm gonna... Yeah, see, it's the floaty guy, but if you get off the screen... And that's another floaty guy, too. Up there. Oh, and it isn't! Cool! Don't hit that skull, remember? And I think... I think this is a floaty guy. Which I don't want to... risk... Well... Oh, it isn't. It's a ring, but we already have a ring. Okay, here's the, the Jenkin guy. Number two, Scissorhead. The second henchman of the king. So with this one, we have to do scissors and then paper. So let's do scissors. Remember, you have to do it in this order. If I lose once, the whole um, pattern changes throughout the rest of the game. Scissors and then paper. And if you would have got that little ball, you would see a cloud above that guy's head um, showing you what he was going to choose. But later on in the levels, it switches at the very end, right before it does it. So it, it's not very helpful. It is helpful, but it's it makes the difficulty a lot harder. Because you'll think he's doing scissors, and that's the last second he'll switch to, uh, like, rock or something. So, what do we have? We have A, question mark, in the ring. So, I think you get the motorcycle. Don't get the motorcycle in this. This is... For me, it's hard. So, we already have the A, so all I'm going to do is get the, um... The cane, which is, allows you to fly. Right? Because I already have the A. Yeah, okay. 
This is a really hard level, if I can remember correctly. I'm going to use the ring. Because I need a blast through this. And then with this, I'm going to just use the cane. And then all you have to do is just point in the direction that you want to go. I'm just going to skip this. Whoa! Yep, I used it in the in a bad spot. Now I'm going to die. Let's see here. What do we have? Nothing that we need. So... Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. That sucks. But, let's see if we can uh, get through that part. Ooh, platforming is tough. We don't want anything that's in there. I don't think so. Whatever. Okay, so what we want to do is use the A. And that's guy that's just gonna take us take him out for us. Cause the guy swings the sword and that guy's throwing stuff, so it's not that difficult. But, um, I found that I've died on that in the past. This is kind of just like the... what's it called? Uh, like the motorcycle or whatever. So, I would say it's more important... Oh! Yep. See, it could be difficult. So now we have to deal with this. So watch, this guy shoots bubbles. And it flies through stuff, so if those projectiles hit you, it's gonna take you out. So to this, I just wanna leave. We just have the invincibility. So the B is we're gonna get this. Um it creates a little sh bubble around you, where it's pretty much like an invincibility thing. So, we want to be careful in this level, because if you, if you lose this, you are going to, <laughs> you're going to die a lot. So wait for that thing to strike and then go. This is an extra guy. Uh oh. All right, I'll take that. I'll take the ring. Okay, here's the third guy. So we need to do rock and scissors. Scissors. 
So that is the last little round where they just give up at the end after you lose. But after this, their head pops off and starts flying around. So run. Don't hit that or the floaty guy will come. I think an extra guy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. How many guys do we have? Oh, we're doing good. We have seven. But this, these castle levels are pretty dangerous. Just when you think you're doing good, like, a bunch of stupid stuff can happen. So that's fine. We just have to go up this way. Because we have to go. Whoa. We have to go up here. Because we have to go rescue his brother. Remember? The, uh, that one dude said your, your brother is being held in the thing. And that's a little trap up there. With that money bag, you'll fall down. The floor will collapse. Do not hit that question mark. So we have to go and hit that little fish symbol. Thank you, Alex. The Moonlight Stones in the Nevada Kingdom. So you must reach there before Jenkin the Great does. An autograft. <laughs> An autograft. Autograph letter addressed to the Nibban. The Banna Kingdom is hidden somewhere in this castle. After finding it, take it with you. So where we where we landed? Remember we fell through that hole? That's actually where that autograph thing is. Whoa. to go back. Okay, let's go over here. See, we get, there's the little autograph thing we have to get. Alright. Let's go over here. And then down through, uh, this spot. Whoa, I was just about to be like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you. Oh, that was weird. Huh. Okay. So I'm gonna show you, uh, what that little ball thing does. To get through here, you go and you kind of duck till you slide under it, and then all you have to do is hit forward. Okay, so over here, I actually think we have to get up. Uh, there. 
So during the next little fight, you can see uh, what it does. So you have to go fast. There. Okay. All right, here we are. So now we have to do paper, paper. See, you can see what he's thinking. But watch, at the last minute he'll switch. Okay, paper, and then... Paper again. So, now its head's gonna pop off and starts floating. So you have to hit it three times. There we go. And you can't use special weapons on it. I forgot what I have. I think I already have a B. I need an A. I'll take an A. Whatever. Whether I need it or I don't. I'll take an A in the extra guy. Okay. Whoa. and rock for this guy. This guy's kind of hard because he throws stuff with his with the head floats around, but he also I think throws projectiles. Yeah. Oop. You gotta. Whoops. That sucks. sketchy levels that you do not want to lose the helicopter. everything. I think that we can buy another cane, maybe. 
Yeah, I'll take the cane. And we have the ring, right? Yeah, okay. We got pretty much everything we need. Because the last castle's... It's not super tough, but it's, uh... Definitely not a walk in the park, either. I probably should use the ring. I knew it. care about nothing. And I am not quite sure what this is. It might be an extra guy, actually. Yep. Well, there goes the guy that we just lost. Like, we don't really need money. I think that was pretty much the last woo shop. I wonder what this is. Okay, I'll take another ring. Okay, so this is rock and then scissors. And then his last, his little fight thing isn't that hard. Scissors. Okay, so now I'll get back right here because he goes a weird little pattern thing. You just have to hit here and then punch when he goes down. You hear that little dunk? That means we hit him. the last level. Well, it's not the last level. So this floor goes out from underneath you. Like I said, you don't need the money again. It's unless you're trying to go for like a, a high score. Or whatever. Like all of it's pretty trivial. Unless you need money to continue, which we probably won't. Unless like the game just goes absolutely wrong for us. Run. Oop. Okay. Uh, you can get a ring here, but to get it, you have to also get that little floaty guy, and it's just weird you have a ring, so we don't really need it. the cane to get those if you want, but I'd rather use the cane in something that I'd more likely need. In a scenario that I would more... Uh, 
yep, like I said, not even worth it to me to get the money. Oh, I think that's a floaty guy. It is a floaty guy. So with this, yeah, jump up, hit it twice. Okay, nope, we didn't have enough time. So if you think you're gonna run out of time, just go back down, hit the thing twice, and then run. In this case, I'm going to... No, I don't need to use anything. Okay. So with this, let's go back again. Go down. Oh no, no, you just gotta run. Okay. Drop down, run. Hit this! Oh, man. Alright, that's fine. this part. You'd think it's hard, but you can actually bounce on the things. Just don't. See, like I'm just letting go and you float up and you just kind of land on them. But don't run into them, if that makes sense. So this part, I'm going to just use the cane. Sticky. Whoa. That was hard to control. Run. case, I am going to use the B. So that gives a... What? Hey! It didn't work. Alright, fine, I'll do this. Oh, wait. We gotta go to the second one. pretty much the end boss. He's pretty easy though. So we gotta do paper and paper. I wonder why that thing didn't work. I tried to do the B. It's like a little glass thing. You're like in a little bubble. Okay, so now he starts shooting projectiles. And... Whoop. And you just gotta hit him in the forehead three times. There we are. 
so we need to collect this. Thank you, Alex. Your mother is well and in good hands. Please save the Redaxing people with your most powerful weapon, the crown. That's cool. You get to save your mother instead of, like, the cliché princess. Hello. Hello, Mom. So this is the last level. Pretty much. It's, it's weird. How it is. You'd think it's like a full level. So watch out for this guy. And then you just fall through. And then now you have to do a certain... Um, pattern. So it goes sun, waves, moon. So, sun, waves, moon. Now you have to do star, sun, moon. Star, sun, moon. If you hit the wrong one, one of those floaty guys will come up. Now you have to do waves, fish, starfish. So, waves, fish, star, fish. Okay, we just have to make it through here. Well, I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Okay, we just beat the game. And I don't understand why the uh, why that is. I had to look it up online. Uh, what the patterns were. The hero uh, heroic action taken by Alex Kid resulted in the downfall of Jink and the Great and a return of peace and tranquility to Red Axiom and the Dazzling something. Eagle, his elder brother, became the king of Red Axiom, the citizens who returned into stone reverted back to the humans being through the power of the crown. Alex was overjoyed that he was able to use the martial arts skills for the good of the citizens. Some doubt still lingers in the minds as to whether or not all of the sinister enemy forces were actually destroyed. Added to this fear is the uneasiness he feels because of the fact that there were Whereas whereabouts his father, the King Sander, is still unknown. The end. Ooh. Could be a sequel. Actually, I think there's quite a bit of Alex Kid games. So anyways, that is Alex Kid in Miracle World. It's a pretty fun game. Um, and like I said, if you die, hold up and then hit the attack button. Or the number two. It says the number two button. See, that's what the motorcycle is, but it's hard to control. Um hit up and then hit um, the number two button eight times and you can continue but it costs you some money so uh, that's the only thing I could really see that's beneficial for getting money after the last shop so anyways Alex Kid in Miracle World thanks for watching cue the music